In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can bring out amazing details in your stable diffusion generations without the need to use upscaling. But as always, let's just jump straight into the tutorial and get you started. So for this little tutorial, we'll be using a stable diffusion automatic 1111 LoRa file called Detail Tweaker. Head over to the amazing Civit AI website using the link in the description and download the Detail Tweaker LoRa file. It's completely free and you do not need to register. So the next thing that you want to do is you want to copy the file that you just downloaded into your Stable Diffusion folder. And to be more precise, you need to go into your Stable Diffusion web UI folder and then your Models folder and then your LoRa folder and paste it into there. As you can see, I have already done that with mine, but the next step we have to do is open up our automatic 1111. So you do that in the usual way by double clicking on the web user.bat file and we can start to generate an image. So I'm going to generate something pretty simple here. I'm just going to generate a woman standing in a field of poppies on a sunny day. Nothing too amazing or spectacular, just something very quick, very simple for us to be able to compare details with. So I'm going to quickly write a prompt and I'm going to show you the generation. So as you can see, the generation is done and it's made a pretty good job of it. However, we're going to make this even better by using the add detail function. So let's add detail tweaker into the generation and compare the results. To add detail tweaker, we want to click the little red icon here that allows us to load our extra networks. Click on the LoRa tab. Mine is already clicked, but you just have to click on LoRa tab and you'll see a box that says add detail. Click that and it will add the LoRa command to the end of your prompt. Let's hit generate again because our seed is the same, so it will generate the same image and see what we get. So as you can see, there is extra detail in the hair. You can now see individual strands and the layers, the color differences in the hair. It's so much more clearer than the original. The face is also a lot more chiseled and shaped and feminine. The clouds are definitely more fluffy. The original was a little bit blurry, whereas this one, you can actually see the individual kind of parts of the cloud. And the dress itself is probably the most noticeable difference. It has a ton more detail than it did before. The ruffles in the fabric are more noticeable and even down to the poppies having more petal detail as well and standing out more is pretty clear to see, pretty obvious. This is really good considering we're not even using the upscale function. However, one issue that I have seen is that it did remove the field of trees from the background on the right hand side. So let's generate this again but we'll try and fix that issue. Okay, so one way that we can try to fix the issue is that we can adjust the weight. Now this can be very much trial and error. It all depends on what image you are trying to generate. What works for me may not work for you in the sense of the weights because every generation is different, but just trial and error it. As long as the seed is the same, it will keep generating the same image anyway. So it's not like you're gonna lose that original image. You're just gonna be adding to it or taking away from it. We're going to change the weight to see if we can fix that issue. I'm going to up the weight by 0.5. So I'll make it a 1.5 weighted LoRa. Uh, and to do that, it's very, very simple. I just add a full stop and then a five after the one to give it a strength of 1.5. Now we're going to generate again and this time see what it makes. So now we have an even more details than before and we have some trees in the background again, which is great. Uh, even the knuckle details in the hands, which actually is very impressive. I think uh, hands, as we all know, is not the best with AI, that it does really mess up hands sometimes. So I'm actually really happy with how the hand has come out in this in this generation with the ad detailer. However, I want to show you what happens if you lower the strength, because that can also yield really good results depending on your image. So what we're going to have to do with this one is to lower the strength of any lower file, not just the detail tweaker, but obviously we're concentrating on that today, you need to add a zero, then a full stop, followed by whatever number you wish, as long as it's a number below 10. So let's try 0.5 to make it half the strength of the original 
detail tweaker and we'll see what we get okay so it still looks really really great way better than the standard generation and the field at the back on the right is more closer to the original generation but it still has enough detail that you actually you'd be pretty happy with that generation i mean i know i am uh, obviously it's not going to be as much detail as the one strength or the 1.5 strength but uh, i think this is still a really good generation for a half strength flora so there we have it higher quality generations without the need to use an upscaler a huge thank you to cyber alchemist for creating this laura please head over to civic ai if you have a chance and give him some love review his uh, laura as he's just made our generations a whole lot easier and a whole lot better thank you for watching and once again for all of the support you have shown me and my channel i really hope you like the video i hope you subscribe and you click the notification bell and all those fantastic youtube goodies that they give us uh, so you can see what my next video will be about i'll see you again soon thank you